Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Halau Napua Hala Kuno Ike Kai. My name is Kumu Kanoi. This is my son, Eames Kalania Kale, and this is our home, also our halal, and we're excited to be back with you again. Um, this is our Saturday hula class, and we're kind of um, transitioning this to our main hula class here on Facebook. So we're happy to be with you today. We're going to do some of our prayers and chants, and we're also going to do, of course, a hula, which we announced just a few days ago, which is Milo Li'i. So more about that later. Um, but if you are new to our videos, thank you for finding us. Thank you for being with us today, whether it's morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. We would love for you to let us know in the comments who you are and where you come from. And yeah, we're happy to have you as part of our hula ohana. So plenty to do today. I believe that it is time. Aloha ho my welcome back. On our Saturday hula classes, we like to go through a set of prayers and chants. Now these prayers and chants and, and everything were shared with me when I learned from my kumu, Le Momi I Maldonado, with Kahale Io Kahala. And we would always start our classes with these same prayers and chants. So we begin with an anthem written by King David Kalakaua. He was the one who penned the words. And the music was actually borrowed uh, with permission from the band master of the Royal Hawaiian Band. His name was Henry Berger, and he wrote the music to this. It was originally called the Hymn to Kamehameha, um, and Kalakaua added the words. So we normally hear just one verse when we hear it out and about, but there were three beautiful verses and a hui, or chorus, which you see here. So we will alternate back and forth between the verses, pauku, and the hui. Now, whenever we do our, um, our anthems, we have to make sure to stand well, of course, because this is out of respect and honor for our Hawaii. So pali ke kua is a Hawaiian saying that means your back is straight, like a cliff mahina kealo your face shines like the moon so here we are with hawaii pono i pa hawaii pono i na na i komo i kala ni ali i ke
third verse that you heard behind the camera there is Eames Daddy, my husband, Uncle Luke. So thank you, Uncle Luke, for singing along with us and making all of our slides look so great. It truly is a family affair. And yes, we do bust into song at any given moment at home. That's just kind of how it goes. Uh, our next um, part is our Oli Aloha. Now, Oli Aloha, of course, means chant of aloha, and the words to this were penned by Kumu Pilahipaki. Oh, she's on this side. <laughs> Here she is. Pilahipaki, she spelled out exactly what it meant to have aloha. But before we do our Oli Aloha, we want to know who we are greeting from all around the world. So, we're going to take a moment to see who's joining us live. Of course, if you're watching the replay of this, e como mai, aloha no, welcome in, and be sure to leave us a little comment. But here's who is joining us live. I see Patricia bright and early. Actually, it's like 3 p.m. over there for her. So aloha e Patricia, Jamie, and the Laird sisters over in San Diego. Aloha e Jamie. Evelyn joining us. Thank you for being with us. Aloha no. Michelle Queen from Florida. All of our Floridians checking in. Aloha. Uh, now I call her Maaike Steenhoff from Holland, but I'm kind of Hawaiianizing her name. But Maaike. Aloha no. Nice to see you. Se Ilya from North Carolina. Aloha no. Yes. Eames is getting taller, Patricia. You got it. Yes, from my Bostonians. I don't even know if that's what you call each other, but I'm going to call you Bostonians. Okay. Uh, Catherine Romanow from Kelowna. Thank you for being with us. It really is so nice to have you. Lilinoi Iwana Aloha No from Torino. Uh, Italy, I believe, yes. Uh, Uncle Frank and Auntie Mary joining us from California. We miss you, folks. That's our Ohana over in California. Linda joining us uh, oh, in Elizabeth, New Jersey now. Yes, is that right? Okay. Uh, Misuk An in Incheon, Korea. Aloha no. Laura from Mexico City. Yvonne is joining us from also Florida. Now, Barbara is right here in Hawaii, Kailua Kona. We're coming to you via Mele, since we couldn't go to your island uh, last week. Okay, Sephira is from California, our friends in Kaleponi. We have some other friends in California. I'm sure they would love to know where in California you're from. And Kanoi joining us from right on this island of Oahu, Waialai area. Nice to see you. Cindy from San Diego. You should get together with um, Jamie. You folks are not far from each other. Kazue, aloha, no. Jose Martin from Quebec. Quebec? Ugh. It is Bostonians. Thanks, Patricia. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a good gang here. We have a pretty good gang. And you know what? I missed you folks so on Tuesday. So who knows? Maybe that Tuesday class will come back eventually. I just, I, I miss having you folks as part of my week. So we're so glad that we have Saturday classes together and now that we know who all is joining us from literally all around the world, we're going to do our Oli Aloha, greeting one another with um, kindness and love. So here we go. Oli Aloha, Pa. Akahai na Hawaii, lokahia kulike, olu olu kamana o. Aloha. Very good. Hey, you're getting pretty tall. I can't make my hand go over you anymore. <laughs> All right. At this point, we go on to our pule. And for our pule, we would always noho ilalo or have a seat. So if it's comfortable for you, please go ahead and sit. Oh my gosh, I almost fell over. I'm out of shape, folks. Okay. So our Hawaiian doxology is based on, of course, the English doxology, Praise God, From Whom All Blessings Flow. Um, the lyrics to that were written by a guy with two first names. His name was Thomas Ken, but we don't do the English version. We only do the Hawaiian, which was, of course, translated by Hiram Bingham, one of the missionaries here in Hawaii. And then a dear friend of ours wrote a second verse, Kumu Haunani Bernardino. So we will do both verses, Ho'onani and Kuno. Ho'onani, pa. Oh, oh, nani, kama, ku, amo, ke, ke, ki, ne, ka, u, ha, ne, no, ke, a, ku, amo, ho, o, mai, ka, i, pu, ko, ke,
mahalo. Now, our second prayer that we do is called Ekeakua, which means, oh, dear Lord. And Ekeakua is done in the kahoa style. Hoa meaning friend. So I have a hoa and a hoa. In English, we call it call and response. So I will be the leader or the mea alaka'i, and Eames will be the follower or the mea ho'opili. So here we go. Ekeakua, pa. Ekeakua. Mahalo no, Mahalo no, Mahalo ya oi, Mahalo ya oi, No keyala, No keyala, Ah, mene, Ah, mene, Ah, mene, mene, Mahalo for that. Now, this is a great reminder every week we thank. Keakua for this beautiful law. Whatever the law looks like, it's beautiful. Um, but we like on Saturdays to know how is the weather or the anila where you are around the world. So we ask, Pehea Kianila. Pehea Kianila means how the weather. How the weather. Uh, and you would answer by saying, He la weather kea so you're going to choose one of those weather options um that you see on the screen and you're going to just insert it into that blank now if it's nighttime of course you're going to say hey po blank kea but go ahead and comment down below with how the weather is in your part of the world because we're all around the world over here e eems pehea kianila What would you say? Um, hela malie keia. It is a calm, easy kind of day. I know it's kind of confusing because it's not sunset, and the malie picture looks like sunset. Do you have something to say about that? Uh, also, vela. Yeah, hela vela keia. Hopefully, we won't be as sweaty as we were last week. But hela <laughs> vela keia. It's a little bit warm, even though it's only a little after 9 a.m. here. A little bit vela, but a la malie. Calm, not too much wind, not too much clouds or rain yet. Um, but yeah, how is the weather for you folks out there? Hopefully, it is a beautiful day wherever you are. The fact that you're here at Hula hopefully is making it more beautiful, <laughs> right? Okay, so our next chant that we do talks about the sun and this chant is known um, as the, the rising of the sun chant. So we, ri uh, we chant this normally as the sun rises. Of course, our sun is already up and blasting, but we still practice this one. So we're going to put our hands in a cup shape, two kind of cupped palms facing one another. And this is called the upoho. So for the upoho, you're going to bring your hands together in a cupped clap. And we're going to do that two times. And then we're going to putty. We're going to flatten out our palms and just slap them together. That's it. So that's our pattern. Upoho, upoho, putty. Join in. And then we're going to add the chant. E ala e. Here we go. E ala e. Kala i ka hikina. I ka moana. Ka moana ho ho nu. Pi i ka leva. Ka leva nu. I ka hikina. Aya kala. E ala e. Very good. Now, if this is your first time doing this chant, you might be wondering, what does it mean? So bring your hands to your mouth. We're going to just act out the meaning. This is not really a hula, but more of a hand game. So, e ala e, you try. E ala e. E ala e means wake up. Kala is the sun. Kala. Ikahikina. Ikahikina. That means in the east. The sun is in the east. Then it looks as if it's coming from... It looks like it's coming from the deep ocean. Then Pi'ikalava means climbing up, like you're climbing up a ladder to the heavens. Pi'ikalava. Kalava nu'u is the highest heavens. Ikahikina in the ik. In the east, in the east, ayakala. There is the sun, and we say, 
E-A-L-A, which means to wake up. Okay, so we're waking up the sun that looked like it was coming from the deep ocean, climbing to the heavens. In the east, there is the sun. So let's try one last time. E-A-L-A, e, chant with us. E-A-L-A, e, kala i ka hikina, i ka moana, ka moana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva, ka leva nu, i ka hikina, ay a kala, e-A-L-A, e. That's it. And we always do that at least three times. If we were actually rising up the sun, we might have to do it 27 times or something like that. So that's E-A-L-A. -E. Our next um, thing that we move on to helps us to focus ourselves, bring us back. This is e ho mai Of course, written by Kumu Edith, Ke kuhi kuhi pu'u o ne o na liki o kohala kanaka ole. How did I do? Did I say it right? <laughs> I, I, okay, he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, so e ho mai, just like e ala e, we will repeat three times. And this one helps to kind of bring us back to center. It says, grant us the knowledge from above concerning the hidden wisdom of songs. Grant, grant, grant us these things. E ho mai, pa. E ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na me le e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na me le for that i just realized it's kind of a good way to test your lung capacity did you did it yeah this one is a good one to test your breath so maybe maybe good for us to all keep practicing a homai these days yeah okay at this point we are going to move on to practice our ipu so if you have an ipu or an ipu heke ipu heke ole you can go ahead and grab it now now the ipu of course is a cousin to the pumpkin or the squash, the kabocha perhaps, and it grows on a vine, um, takes about nine months, just like a little baby, for it to grow to full size. So this is my ipu, I gave her a name because she doesn't like to stand up straight, she likes to lay down, kinda like me. Um, but her name is Hina. Hina, of course, is the goddess of the moon, but also the word Hina means to lay down or fall, topple over. So this is Hina, that's my ipu. Eames is ipu, likes to stand up straight, and the word to stand or stop or be upright is ku. So this is ku. Ku. Yeah, he's so ku. <laughs> okay, ku and Hina. Ku and Hina. Eames and Kumu Kanoe. Yeah, that's, that's the family here. Okay, so we're going to do a little song that talks about how to make the ipu. First, we chop off its head, dig out its guts, sand the outside, and then, of course, dip it in a little bit of salt water to cure it. Then we're ready to play. So, Hanavo ika ipu heke ole pa. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole ika ipu heke ole Hanavo ika ipu heke ole ika papa hana no eau hana ho Hanavo ika ipu heke ole ika ipu heke ole Hanavo ika ipu heke ole very good. Okay, so we have a few different beats that we practice on the ipu, and these are combined for almost every ipu um, work that you have. It's some combination of these beats that you see here. The one at the top is kind of a bonus beat. This one is actually called the ka eke loloi, sometimes also called, um, what is it? Uh, 
ka, uh, anyways, there's a bunch of different names for this, but the loloi, kaeki loloi is this rattling that you see Ian's doing so well with the side of your hand going back and forth. Now, you're not brushing it with your nails, so it's not... Oh. Not like that. You just kind of seesawing back and forth between pinky and thumb. Okay, so yeah. you're going to do that kaeke loloi every time you hit the ipu on the ground. Did you have some tips to give them? Yeah, I mean, it's not bad either. Yeah, you're not doing all the fingers. You're not like, what is that? Bad guy. You're not a bad guy. Go. No, <laughs> just back and forth. Okay, so now the paw bee is going to hit once on the pad. Oh, by the way, do you have a little pad underneath? You should. It's called the paw lay. Okay, so oo is on the ground, and te is on the side. Every time you get the oo, you can add the kaekiloloi for flavor. Flavor. Here's the paw bee. Join us. Oo, te, oo, te, oo, te, and stop. Or ku. Very good. The next beat is called the Kahela. This one is going to be a oo and then te, te, over and over. Kahela, set, here we go. Te, 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 and ku. Very good. The last beat is called the ku, ku, and the ku, ku gets three oos on the ground. So oo, 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 and then the te, te beat. The Tay Tay, okay? Let's do cuckoo. Ready? And here we go. Cuckoo one, cuckoo two, cuckoo three, and cuckoo coo. <laughs> Good thing he knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so those are our pa'i, pa, ipu. Continue practicing those as we progress through the month. We will get a little bit more um, intense but for now let's do a very very simple pattern we're gonna start with the paw and then the kahela and then the kuku so we'll do one of each and then we'll repeat the whole pattern two times okay so two times total ready and here we go a paw kahela kuku once more a paw kahela and kuku that's it Great job. Okay, you can go ahead and put your ipu and pale away. We're going to do a little bit of basic steps, and Eames is going to be demonstrating for us. So, for our basic steps here at Halau Naupua Halakuno Wikekai, we always ask, you can step back just a little bit so we can see your head. Yeah, 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 there we go. You're getting so tall, man. Okay, move in. Right here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, coming in. Okay, so we're going to put your hands on your waist with your fingers to the front and thumbs in the back. Make sure that your fingers are together just as his are no gaps in between or what we call spider hands. <laughs> Feet are slightly apart, knees, once the ipu starts, are going to go into a slight bend, okay? The very first step that we're going to do is the most basic of the steps. It's called the ka'o or sway. So here we go. Bend your knees. And ka'o, sway right, left, sorry, 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 I forgot. I gotta have, okay, ready? Bend your knees. He's going to mirror you. Ready, ka'o, right, left, that's right. Push your hip to the right and left. Right, left, right, left. You will notice that his heels are touching the ground at all times. The style of hula that we were taught is very flat-footed. No pedaling of the heels. Kaholo. Right together, right tap. Very good. Nice even steps. Not a big and a small. Back to Kao Sway. Slight bend in the knees is good. Kaholo, move right together, right tap, left together, left tap, right together, right tap, and cool. Now, in the song that we're going to be doing, there will be a point where you're going to come forward with your kaholo. And yes, you're going to take it at an angle just like that and then angle back. That's it. Now, the timing of this hula is a little bit funky, so you're going to get a regular kaholo coming forward, step together, step tap, yeah? And then on the back, it's actually going to be what I call a holo ho or six counts. <laughs> so it's going to go 
on one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you're gonna come forward four and then back six. Kind of weird, yeah? yeah? Let's try it. You got it. Going forward, ready, go. Right together, right tap. Left together, left together, left tap. How was that? Weird? Let's try it one more time just so you can get that going. Ready? Bend your knees. Here we go. Right together, right tap. Left together, left together, left tap. That's it. Okay? Right after that, I know it's a little funky, but you're going to get a hella right. No, sorry. A ka'o right, ka'o left, and then pause right. Is that what I said? And ka okay, la, yeah, okay. So you're gonna ka o right, ka o left, pause with your right foot forward. Just like that. Okay, so let's just try that. Ready, go. Ka o right, ka o left, pause right. Then from right there, don't bring that foot in. You're just gonna go right into a ka holo. Ready, go. Ka holo to the right and ka holo to the left. Okay, I just wanted you to see those steps in isolation before we get into the hula so that when I get to that, it won't be the first time. Okay, I'm going to cool Iluna, stand on up. If you're still sitting down, what are you doing? Come on, let's stand up. Okay, so our hula that we're going to be learning is actually called Milolii. And before we talk about the hula, I want to tell you where Milolii is. Do you have any idea which island? Oh, here, you come this side. Do you have any idea which island Milolii might be on? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give you a hint. Eames is wearing the color or the vaiho'olu'u of this island. So if you know which of our islands is represented by the color red, it is Moko Keave, island of Hawaii, okay? Of course, our whole state is Hawaii, but the islands of Hawaii is this one right here. Oops, you got bonked in the face by a map. Okay, so this is the map of the island of Hawaii, and you see there are many different districts. Now, since we're returning back to the island of Hawaii this month, I decided that uh, we should review the names of the districts. And this is actually pertinent to our area. Um, we are going to be visiting an area right over, where's my hand? Kind of over here-ish. If, if I could extend my finger past this map, it's right over there. And um, they were actually known there were two people there that were Riddlers. And there's a legend about Riddlers in that area. I'm going to tell it to you later. But for now, let's practice some riddles from the island of Hawaii. These riddles helped children and adults, perhaps, to learn the names of the districts in, on Hawaii Island. So the first riddle, it says, Ku'ule hala. Now, this is not a hala lei, but the lei that you see right here is the lei of our halal. It is the, the lei hala. And when they would talk about riddles and they would say, okay, the, the question to the riddle is, Ku'ule hala. They were trying to get the haumana to guess the name of a district in the island of Hawaii that had the word Hala in the name of the district. So, Ku'ule Hala, what is the name of the district? Oko Hala, you got it. So, right up there on the tippy top northmost point of the island of Hawaii, that district is called Kohala. So, Ku'ule Hala, where is my, my lay of Hala? It is at Kohala. Okay, we're moving right along. Next. Kamakani Kona, there's a big south wind. Kamakani Kona. And what is that? Okona. Moving southward along that side. I know Barbara is from this area, Kailua Kona. So Kona District is that one right there. Next, Kuulua U'u. O. Oka'u. Yes, the southernmost part of the island of Hawaii is called Oka'u. It's not called Oka'u, but Ka'u is the name. Okay? Now we're rounding the bend. Ku'umau Kupuna. Where are my grandparents? Oh, Puna. Yes, they are at Puna. Very, very good. Okay, as we come around the corner, Ku'uwaho Hilo Loa, talking about the rope. Oh, oh Hilo. Now that is where we're supposed to be this week, but ah, uh, such is life. 
<laughs> oh, he wanted to be in corner, Barbara. Okay. <laughs> and, of course, last but not least, Kuumaumakua, where are my parents? Oh, ha. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Ohamakua, that's right. So as we go around the islands, we can see the map of the entire, oh, where, which side is it gonna be? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go really quickly through. Here are the answers right beside me. You can answer with Eames. This is uh, sort of a little chant that talks about all of the districts. Um, you can hear a version of actually Marika Venapukui doing this. She has a recording, so here we go. Kuulehala, okohala. Kamakani kona, o kona. Kuulua uu, o ka u. Kuumau kupuna, o puna. Kuuaho hilo loa, o hilo. Kuumau makua, o hamakua. A puni kamoku Hawaii, all around the island of Hawaii. Okay, good job. If you were with us in February, that should have looked familiar. If you were not with us in February, that probably went very quickly, and I'm so sorry, but I just wanted us to have an idea of where we're going to be. So we will be in the district of Kona. Kona, okay? Yay. Yes, your favorite, where you wish we were this week. So um, the song, let's go on to our song. The song that we're talking about is called Milo Li'i. And now I, I have done some research on this song and I will continue to share it with you throughout this month. Every week we will do a new verse of Milo Li'i. Milo Li'i was written by John Makua Kane. And if I'm not mistaken, John Makua Kane is the father of Kenneth Makua Kane, who is now the pastor at Kawaii Ha'o Church. So I'm going to go down to Kawaii Ha'o and bug Pastor um, Ken and, and see if he can give me a little bit more insight about this because his family is from the Hilo area. Um, his father and mother were actually both pastors at the Opihikau Church. Um, and Milo Lee is just, just around the bend there. So Milo Li'i talks about a little fishing village, and at this place, people live in the Hawaiian style. So we're going to learn this verse. I'm going to switch places with you because I think it's easier for you on this side, yeah? Okay, so we're going to dive right in. So Kui Luna, stand on up, and we're going to start with the hands, okay? So Milo Li'i is going to start with your hands right in the center, and this is a fishing village, so it's down by the ocean side. It's not up in the mountains. You're going to make it not too wide because it's small, little village, and bring it back together. Ooh, little village. I love their Chinese food. <laughs> okay, ready? Pushing down. Milo li'i. Okay, akune yaula is a long way to say, I went there. I went over there. Okay? So from yourself, you're going to bring your right hand out. Akune. And then when you go, you got to come back. Because you don't want to just go and don't come back. You're going to back in one, two, and come back. Yeah. In Hawaiian thought, when you send something out, you got to bring it back. It's kind of like yin and yang, like tai chi or something yeah. like that. We don't want to just go, 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 because then we don't come back. Okay. <laughs> Place motion. Milo li'i. Akune. Come, come. Aula. And then to yourself. Okay. Now, Milo Li'i, this little town, I, I did some research, and as they were down there at this town doing their fishing down Kai by the ocean, they remembered looking up into the mountains, and there were loggers. Mm -hmm. The loggers would come, and they were chopping down trees, big, huge koa trees, and they were loading them up on donkeys and the donkeys would haul them away nowadays there's no more forest above miloli it's all wiped out because the loggers took all of them didn't leave anything not sustainable practices okay so but this ekake is a donkey and they're kind of stubborn so you're gonna hold on to your donkey with your left hand your uh, yeah your other, left your other left hand. We're mirroring you, by the way. Your right hand is going to give that donkey's uha, his hip, a little encouragement. We're going to encourage, yeah. and we're going to encourage, and then we're going to hold the reins. Okay, so let's go from Milo Li'i. Milo Li'i. From your chest. There I go. Akune. Come back. 
Ola. Now encourage that donkey. E keko e kakela. Now this donkey didn't like that encouragement. He wanted words of affirmation. Oh no, just kidding. Then we're gonna go one, two, three. This donkey's kind of taking us for a ride on the Ala Nui, which is the street. If you can't tell already, this is kind of a fun, silly comic song. It's not a pretty merry monarch awana this is kind of like the kind of thing you would dance at a luau if we could have a luau okay miloli ready pushing down it's miloli we go akune come back aula ikekau e kakela nuha ike ala nui that's it it's kind of fast Okay, so now let's add some feet to this. We'll move back so that you can see our va vai or our feet. We're going to kaholo to the right on the first part. Milo li'i. Kaholo to the right. Here we go. Milo li'i. Now, here comes the kaholo forward. So when your hands are here and your right hand is going forward, your body is going to follow the path of that hand, and we're going to go forward at an angle. Ready, go. Akune, and then now this is where we get six counts coming back. Aula, and come back. Okay, that was a little tricky. Let's try just the feet. Okay, so we're gonna kaholo to the right and left. Ready, set, here we go. Miloli, going forward. Akune, aula, keep going. That's it. Now we have another view. This is called the va vai cam, and this might be helpful in this case. Okay, so can you stand here so that they can see your feet? Let's start with a kaholo to the right. At miloli, going forward. Akune aula. Okay, you see how that was an extra six steps on the way back? Try one more time. Just kaholo to the right, going. Miloli. And you can smile too, going forward. <laughs> Akune aula. Okay, very good. Now, right here, we're going to add a kao right and left. E keko e. And then pause right. Kakela. Okay, let's do ikeko e kakela when we're riding the donkey. Ready. Ikeko e kakela. Then kaholo to the right. Anuha ike ala nui. Okay, so those are the feet for the whole thing. Let's try it in this camera one more time before we come back. Ready, holo, right. Here we go. Miloli. Going forward. Imua. Akune, six back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ka o and ka o pause right. Holo right, two, three, and left, two, three. Good. Okay, now you want to see my face? Headless hula dancer? Ta da! Okay, let's do our ka holo to the right to start. So we're going to do a vamp. Ready, here we go. Da 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 da. Okay, just the feet again. Miloli e kaholo right. Miloli e going forward. Akune and back. Aula keep going back. E keko e kakela. Nuha ike ala nui. One more time. Da 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 da. Little faster. Kaholo. Miloli. Going forward. Akune back. Aula. Kao. Ike ko. E kakela. Nuha ike ala nui. Very good. Okay, so now let's go from ike ko e kake with hands. Hold on to that donkey okay and your right hand is gonna go as you kao encourage kao encourage and hold on for dear life yep okay so let's go kao e kiko e ka kela and then holo nuha e ke ala nui yeah you can make this a small motion it doesn't have to okay we don't have time well, you can do that. Mine is a controlled donkey, okay? So, kaholo right. 
Anu hai ke ala nu we holo da da da. Let's try from the beginning. Miloli is a little town. Holo right. Miloli we go and come. Akune aula ike kau e kakela anu hai ke ala nu. I love your face. Your donkey face. Miloli and uh, Miloli go and come. Akune ste kam aula. Ike kau e kakela anu hai ke ala nui. Okay, when you hear the music, I think the timing will make a little bit more sense. I know we're just acting a fool over here. So here we go. Miloli. You're doing a great job, friends. Thanks for hanging in. I gotta turn on my speaker so that you can hear the music. Here we go. Where's they? You hear it? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kahalo. Let's go. Milo Milo Lee. Lee. Milo Lee. Go stick up. Akune aula. Ike kau e kakela. Nuha ike ala nu. One more time. Milo Lee. Milo Lee. Akune aula. Ike kau e kakela. Waikiki. Waikiki. Okay, unlike the last song that we did last Saturday, you don't get to practice every verse 10,000 times. You just get two, two times, okay? So let's try one more time. Hey, man, you got a solid encouragement of your donkey. I'm glad I'm not your donkey. Okay, ready? From the top, one more time. This is my traveling hat. Kaholo. Miloli. Miloli. We go stick up. Akune aula. Ike kau e kakela. Nuha ike ala nui. Miloli. So every single week, we will do a new verse of Miloli'i. You already heard probably after Miloli'i, we're going to say, forget it with this fishing town. Let's go to Oahu, to the big city, and we're going to go on to Waikiki. And I'm not going to tell you yet what we're going to ride in Waikiki. Guess what? <laughs> You'll never guess. You'll never, ever guess. But anyhow, everywhere we go, um, you know, this is, this is very Hawaiian. This is mele huaka'i. Hawaiians love to go holo holo, go traveling here, there, and everywhere, and writing about what they did there. So since we're all kind of stuck back at home with this, you know, next wave of coronavirus, we decided we'd go on a little travels via mele. So first to Miloli'i, next week to Waikiki. It'll be good fun. Sounds good. Okay. Um, I'm going to give Eames a little break for a, a moment, but a moment, sir, but a moment. Um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about our August calendar and what is happening here with Halau Napua Halaku no Ikekai in the month of August. So we're very, very happy to be returning to some of our in-person hula. So um, we have our beginning keiki, which will be on Fridays at 4 p.m. and Saturdays at 10.30. That's starting later this month on August 20th. So we still have a few more slots open in our Saturday class. If you have people with kids on the island of Oahu, 
near the Nu'uanu area that would like to join us. We have a, a few more spots left for that Saturday morning class, but the Friday class is piha, full up. So there is that. Our intermediate keiki, who have been dancing us for quite some time, um, will be joining us on Fridays at 5 p.m. Adults here on the island of Oahu, we do welcome new adults to join us Tuesdays at 6 p.m. And then our Kahuahula Basics class will be starting at High Climb Gym in Kaka'a. We're not sure if it's going to start this Monday because our cases are a little bit high, but keep, keep a lookout on our social media to see if that's going to happen this week or next week or whenever it can happen. We will be continuing our online classes, of course, our Facebook Kula on Saturdays at 9 a.m. Hawaii time. All of these are in Hawaii time. Um, our, our Zoom Keiki classes will be Thursdays at 4.30. And adults, we have a hula class coming up for you folks on August 29th. There will be two options of time zones, either 9 a.m. or 6 p.m. For those of you who uh, 9 a.m. is just not happening, um, we're going to be covering a hula classic, Kaulu Vehi Oke Kai. And this is choreography passed down to me from my kumu, Le Momi I Maldonado. So that will be on Zoom August 29th. Be on the lookout for that. The registration was supposed to come out a few days ago, but it will be out soon. I promise. Okay, so that's our August calendar. To end today, um, we're going to finish up a little bit early, but uh, you've been working very hard, I know, and, and all of us here. Uh, we're going to be ending with our poi balls. If I can find my poi ball master somewhere around. Oh, there he is. There he is. We're going to be fini finishing with our poi balls. Of course, the poi balls are not Hawaiian. They are from our cousins over in New Zealand, Aotearoa. And the poi balls were done to practice hand-eye coordination and I don't know, seems like get ready for battle or something. These things can be weapons if you're not careful. So we will do our uh, hokey hokey to end up today. If you don't have poi balls, don't worry. You can just watch and laugh at us yeah. no just kidding enjoy you can just sit back and enjoy yes we may switch okay. you're welcome okay here we go hokey hokey where are you where is my track i don't know i don't want to have to sing oh um, this is true i don't really <laughs> know the words okay Okay, here we go. Hoki, hoki. Hoki, hoki, toru fa. Hoki, hoki, toru mai. Te wairu na o te tai. Kik te aki te ringa. If you would like to get a pair of koi balls for yourself, I do know that Aloha Kula Supply sells them and ships around the world. I wanted to do a koi balls um, class. I don't know if that would work on Zoom. Would be kind of hard, yeah? Sounds dangerous. Might have to sign a waiver for that one. <laughs> Hide your valuables. We have to take all the glass out of our picture frames because katonk. Thank you all for being a part of our Hula Ohana today and for joining us once again for our brand new Hula Milolii. We'll be back with another verse next week and more Hula. Um, until then, keep practicing. Have a wonderful week. Stay safe. Ahui ho.